the state of the project talk uh, is a traditional one, uh, goes over the, uh, the numbers, some of the numbers about the, the community, uh, the, the market where we are, uh, some of the markets about, uh, some of the numbers about the uh, technology around us, uh, who is using it, and so on and so forth. I'll try to update it uh, with, uh, with numbers every year. Some of the numbers, uh, unfortunately, are not entirely new, but uh, I think it's important for everyone to be aware of, uh, of our position in the market. So the first uh, is not a real number, but uh, uh, is about the annual report. So the annual report, uh, you find the 2021 annual report on the website, on, on the blog. You can download it, you can download it low resolution, high resolution, and you can download the original uh, annual report that is going to the German authorities. Actually, the German one uh, is more uh, an, a document with information than an annual report because it's uh, more text, uh, uh, has no images, uh, but contains uh, basically most of the same information which are about the project. Uh, second one uh, is about the sources of income in 2021. As you can see, uh, we have uh, a majority, the blue one is donation by PayPal, and the red one is donation with credit cards. Then we have a very small uh, percentage of other donations, they're coming through other means, uh, uh, Libera Pay or other stuff, uh, uh, direct wise. Uh, uh, and uh, then we have the AB member fees, which are one, just 1%, one uh, and uh, me, a, a very small amount of other income. This is the uh, source of income, and these are the main uh, expenditures. So we have uh, very small uh, on uh, depreciation. Uh, this is unfortunately something that we have to account in terms of uh, uh, numbers. Then uh, we have a, quite a large chunk uh, for employees and freelancers. Uh, one percent, which is small, community and events, I think uh, we can, at least this, this is my opinion, but I hope it's shared by, by the board, uh, uh, we can definitely increase that one percent uh, in the future, especially to counterbalance the two years that we had without meeting each other. So if in 2023 you have uh, the idea of organizing uh, events in your country uh, which can be sponsored by TDF, uh, do it. Just one, one small question on our side. We have to make sure that we manage that properly under any point of view. So in November, I will send an email to most of the people, I can send it to everyone. I can put it on mailing list, asking for budgets. Even if you don't have an idea, just send, I would like, for instance, I make an example, uh, the Czech community. They always ask, they, they have a couple of events uh, in, uh, I think they are in Prague, if I'm not wrong, but they're, extremely irregular, they say, we go at those events, we need that money to cover cost for the event, for uh, marketing material, we need that money for uh, that. And that is perfect. I mean, if I had all the people like Zdenek, sorry, you should buy some vowels for your name, because for me it's impossible to pronounce it. I can lend you some vowels, no problem, but... Uh, uh, so if everyone is like Stenek, it would be wonderful because we can really, on January 1st, we have the budget spreadsheet and it is a Czech community, that much is marketing, that much is community and it's fantastic. But I know 
I've organized events for many years, so I know that with one year in advance, it's difficult to know the, the numbers. So, but you can send us a... All, I would appreciate an email that says, I would like to organize a conference. Do you think that 3,000 euros is a reasonable amount for next year? And we can have an exchange of emails and uh, agree on, a, on an amount. And then we have that amount on the, on the budget. So the board, when the board approves the budget, there are numbers for communities which can be approved. Then uh, you organize the event, okay, you don't organize it, and, or you organize in a different way. But at least we, have, we know that there is a, a budget, there is a figure, and we can manage it properly. Otherwise, it's a, it's a, the, the problem is that we have to chase you on the expenses, and at the end of the year, we have to, you know, to match the budget with the expenses, which is not always the, the right exercise. It would be better to have a budget, and then to do the small adjustment that you do at the end of the year, not a complete re, you know, a cosmetic rework of the budget. So, if you have an idea, I think, uh, send us the, 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 your request, of course, if your request is unreasonable, the answer will be, sorry, we cannot give you 100,000 euro to just to your community. Yes, you, you can organize 100 events, but maybe we, we should leave some money for the other communities as well. So let's do a, a, a balanced exercise, but please do answer our emails. Please do answer them uh, in due time. If you cannot answer that immediately with the numbers, just send an email that says, sorry, we are working on the budget, we are discussing our ideas, I will come back to you in one month. I will note on my to-do list, uh, in one month, call them to, to know their budget. But at least you help me in chasing you in the right way. So please, let's work better together on the budget because it has always been, uh, not on the last two years, because it was impossible to organize stuff, but previously it was really a nightmare, believe me. And not because we want to have uh, our life totally easy, but because we have to make a guess ex exercise for everything, which is not the best way. Then uh, we have... Uh, Projects and tenders, 19%, and then other expenses. We have uh, the infrastructure, of course. Uh, we have um, the registration of domains. Uh, there are a few, um, of course, we, we have a large infrastructure. We have to work. We have, uh, uh, I think we own a virtual machine. We own hardware somewhere, and therefore we, we have to take care of that. And, uh, but I, would be really happy in increasing the travel budget and the local event budget, because that is what helps us to be a real community. I mean, we are a community. Uh, talking uh, with email is fantastic. Uh, meeting on behind the screen is okay. But you all know that meeting face to face is, uh, we are social animals, so meeting face to face is, so, please do it. Please organize events. Please uh, invite people to attend your events. If you have someone that, or if, if you heard a, a nice talk at the conference, don't be shy. Invite the guys and say, I would like to have uh, your updated talk to my conference. Uh, we can ask TDF it's, uh, if there is money enough to pay your travel expenses. We can do this. We have been uh, in Japan. Uh, I mean, I've been uh, in several countries, and I'm, let's say, part of my, to of my job is to, is to do talks. So I'm not the best example. But uh, we had other people in Japan for the Japanese, uh, uh, for the Asian event uh, two years ago. Uh, we had people in South America both in Paraguay and uh, in, uh, in Brazil this year. So uh, it is possible. We have the resources. Let's make it happen more frequently than in the past 
in the past. Of course, do not consider the past two years, but please consider the previous situation. There was not enough events which were funded by TDF, in my opinion, even in the past when it was possible to travel around and to, to organize events. This uh, is, uh, these are the donations. These are donations per day, so each uh, brick is, uh, is donations. As you see, we are, uh, uh, although there are, uh, uh, there are fluctuations, the, the, our donation trend uh, is definitely a good one. Uh, we had uh, two fantastic years dur during the pandemic because many, pe many more people downloaded LibreOffice. Probably many more newcomers felt uh, the need of donating something, so we had the... Uh, but this year where things are back almost to normal, we still have a good donation trend. Uh, downloads are increasing, by the way, which means that the number of donations per download is decreasing. So we have the challenge of bringing up the, the, you know, keeping the ratio between downloads and donation at the same level. But that's a nice challenge to have because we have donations, we have downloads. These are donations by quarter. You see, we normally, the, the last and the first quarter of the year, so uh, October, November, December, January, Ma uh, February, March are the two best quarter. This historically, there's no a specific reason. I think it's more because uh, these are the months where l people is traveling less probably or having less holidays. Although there is quite a large amount of uh, the, 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 the globe uh, where holidays happen during uh, our winter season, but uh, probably because we still, uh, the majority of it happens from uh, the northern hemisphere in terms of donations that is uh, more uh, affected by the northern hemisphere seasonality. And these are, uh, is a comparison of monthly donation, as you see, uh, 2022 uh, is uh, the dark green, so it's uh, we are still uh, in a, let's say, rather comparable, or it's the, the, no, the dark red, not the green. Uh, we are still rather comparable with 2020 and 2021. And these are the, the result per year, so you see the amount of donations. Uh, this is logarithmic, of course, because otherwise it would not be comparable. So the number of transactions and the amount of the transactions. This gives you uh, the total of recurring transaction, PayPal, uh, which is the dark green, and, and stri Stripe, which is credit card, the, the, the light green, and these are amounts. Um, we have increased the recurring donations, which are now, uh, in some cases, more than 40%, which is a, a very, nice, uh, very nice percentage. What we have to consider is that, let's say, one-shot donations are higher in average in amount than recurring donations. So we, we have recurring donations, but to have the same amount of uh, one, uh, shot one single shot donation amounts for two and a half uh, recurring donations in terms of amount. Uh, because recurring donations are uh, uh, growing, uh, but they are lower in terms of uh, investment uh, by the individual. Of course, if you donate each month for three years, uh, we cannot expect uh, uh, the person to donate the same amount that one person donates for one single donation, maybe over three or four years. These are downloads uh, per week. Uh, the yellow is, uh, is 2022. Uh, this is the highest year in downloads uh, uh, in our history. So, uh, and uh, for the comparison that we do uh, with um, with let's say, the other project, uh, uh, 
this is the first year where we have more than twice the donations of Apache Open Office. The downloads, sorry, not the donation. The downloads of Apache Open Office. Uh, this uh, is what I was mentioning before: is the ratio between uh, uh, downloads as donations. The green uh, uh, bars are uh, downloads, and the red uh, line are donations. You see, uh, if uh, the, the the ratio was regular, we should always be on top of the of the bar while uh, we are uh, wildly fluctuating uh, on that. These are downloaded by operating system, as you can expect, 87% uh, is Windows, 8% is Mac OS, and 5% is Linux. Uh, these are, uh, I think that the Linux downloads uh, are uh, uh, not realistic uh, because there is a large number of people installing uh, LibreOffice from the repositories of the distribution. So, as expected, we have a probably a higher than the market uh, percentage of Linux downloads. I think it, it's probably twice as much as the 5% that you see. And these are downloads by continent. As you see, Europe uh, is still leading by far, then we have 13% of North America and Asia, 10% South America, and uh, we have uh, the, um, the other continents. Unknown uh, is uh, either Antarctica, where we, ha we have, we have the Miklos, we have downloads from Antarctica. Antarctica is a beer, uh, is, a, is, a, is a Brazilian beer. We have a regular download from Murro Base in Antarctica. It's, I don't know, uh, sorry, but the box time is coming. I have to pull the guy. already in front of the of the gallery so uh, volunteers should go in front of the gallery that gets out on uh, the early to get the the lunch boxes thank you volunteers i will promise i will won't tell anything interesting in the meantime so it's uh, it's funny because uh, as i was saying uh, uh, we have a regular uh, download from Murro Base in Antarctica. So I went to see, and it looks like there is one of the... Murro Base is a multinational uh, mission in Antarctica. So it looks like there is one of the countries. So because it's not just one download, there are four downloads for every version, regular. So when we announce the update, the day after, there are four downloads from Murro Base in Antarctica. And uh, I, I am trying to find uh, a, a kind of common email address of Murro Base to write them and say, can uh, you tell me who is downloading LibreOffice in your base? Because this is happening for three years now. 
So it's, uh, and it's funny because uh, it would be a fantastic story to have, uh, you know, uh, LibreOffice used in a, in a Muro base in Antarctica because they are developed, you know, they are researchers. So it's a, it's a qualified, uh, is a qualified public or a qualified number of users. It's, uh, it's not uh, the normal user. They are people that is there for scientific research. It's a sim Sorry. Pronto? Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, the, we, we have uh, a, a very large user of LibreOffice uh, in Europe, which is CERN. The problem is that they are not allowed to comment on the software they are using. And, and this is a pity because at CERN, uh, basically all the researchers or the, all the research on the uh, accelerator, they are all using uh, Linux. Uh, and so all the reports are written with LibreOffice. Uh, and it would be fantastic to, to have to get one of those documents to show that, you know, very serious people, technically skilled people, very high level people can use, Libre, use LibreOffice. But unfortunately, they cannot uh, because I, I've been at CERN and of course uh, I made a presentation. So I asked them, uh, can we mention this? And they said, no, unfortunately, this is a policy of CERN. We have to be completely product agnostic uh, outside, so we cannot declare uh, which product we are using. Yeah, but it's not like uh, us writing it, because you have to get to the CERN uh, website and dig into the CERN website, which is not exactly the same thing. Okay, and this is a map, uh, just to confirm the situation, this is a map uh, of visit to download page. You see uh, we have uh, Germany, France, uh, and the States, Brazil, uh, Italy, Spain, uh, UK, Poland, uh, uh, we have Russia with a rather high number, India and China, um, and uh, so the, the, the darker the, the gray, the higher the, the number of downloads. Uh, Russia has increased quite a lot um, in comparison with the previous, uh, previous uh, image that we, we had. Uh, this is an estimate, so they are not precise numbers, but let's say that for every download of LibreOffice from the TDF website, there, there is probably between half and one download from other websites, which are like uh, Softpedia, so the websites where, which provide uh, download property of the software. Unfortunately, the, one of the issues that we may have with these people is that uh, we are not sure, but it's difficult to ensure that they always carry the latest version. That is not easy. Uh, with Softpedia, in the past, there was a, uh, an editor, Marius Nestor, that was ensuring uh, this, uh, but he has left Softpedia, so now we don't have the contact anymore. Marius was very keen about having the latest version, but it's difficult. For instance, at CNET, it's basically impossible. I've tried to talk with the editor-in-chief, but it's basically impossible because they, uh, they give the, the maintainers of the download website are uh, external contributors, and they don't have the control of the external contributors. But these websites have uh, thousands of downloads every month of LibreOffice. Uh, and as I said, Linux download uh, uh, numbers are negligible because the majority of uh, Linux users is uh, downloading from the distri distribution repositories. Although, for instance, in Italy, 
we insist uh, when they ask uh, we on uh, on on our group on telegram group on the mailing list uh, we always explain that it's better to download from uh, the tdf website even if the installation is a little bit less user friendly because you have to uh, to use to go through the terminal uh, but that way you are sure that you you get the real one, because the, in some cases uh, distribution are repackaging LibreOffice, and in there have been uh, there have been cases where they added bugs by repackaging LibreOffice. Of course, not in not in an intended way, but there were regressions uh, triggered by the repackaging. Sorry. No, it, it's uh, urine. Is it relevant? Um, no, it's not really relevant, but it's important for us to know where bugs can come from, because the problem is that people that are installing from uh, distribution repositories uh, are usually they usually think that these are controlled by TDF and not by the distribution. So, for instance, we had an issue with, um, with Ubuntu. I don't remember which version, but there was a, uh, one, a ma it was a major, uh, a major release, uh, and uh, for some strange reason, uh, it was imp they, the, the menu didn't show on the Ubuntu version. They immediately solved it, but of course, uh, and we got complaints in, uh, in our mailing list. They say, oh, you did it wrong, uh, and uh, the TDF version was working perfectly, so we had to look and install. Mm, it's improving because also the, the people uh, in, uh, in the distribution are improving their, the quality, but it may happen. So the user estimate, you know, we, 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 we don't change the numbers. We, we always say we have 200 million users. Actually, the, uh, and I will talk about this uh, on, uh, on uh, Saturday, the um, analysts give us a, a percentage that is higher than we consider. The, at the moment, they give us 12% uh, not unique, which means uh, that uh, uh, we of these 12% uh, uh, of the global number of users, a number is using only LibreOffice and a number is using LibreOffice and another. So the total of the Office suite gives more than 100% because people use more than one uh, in, on their uh, computer. There are many people that use maybe LibreOffice and Google Docs and people that use LibreOffice and Office 365 and people that is using Microsoft Office and LibreOffice. So let's say that the unique uh, software is probably not the, the normal configuration, or at least not in, in all the cases. But uh, analysts give us 12% at the moment, which would be higher than that. Uh, but let's uh, be conservative, because otherwise the risk is that people say, oh, you know, you're just giving numbers uh, without any, any reasonable um, background. Uh, this is uh, the development overview, uh, Garrett 2021. So it's not updated to today, it reflects the year 2021. Uh, please remember that we have a dashboard that can be accessed by anyone, uh, any day. Uh, it's dashboard uh, documentfoundation.org. And uh, you have the numbers uh, up to the last minute every day. You can configure it, you can uh, query, you can uh, look at the numbers for uh, uh, a company, for a specific uh, uh, period of time. 
So uh, you learn how to use it because I think it provides an excellent overview on uh, the state of the project. And this is Git. Uh, this is Bugzilla. Uh, issues by status. Uh, and uh, the red ones are the solved ones, and uh, of course the other ones are uh, the those who are not solved. Uh, the spikes uh, usually are, uh, for instance, that one, uh, in uh, which was in uh, late October. It's related to the fact that we had the first beta of the new major release. So, of course, uh, you have. Uh, an higher number of new bugs uh, on that one. These are question and answer on this course. And then uh, we have, uh, uh, I hope that you can read the names. Uh, uh, these, are, uh, these are the top 20 Garrett contributors. Many of them are here. Thank you for to everyone. Then you have the Git contributors. Kaolan, you should stop working 24 hours per day because you, you know, Kaolan, Kaolan, come on. And then people ask me, but it, it's Kaolan making 50% of LibreOffice, which is probably not 50, but let's say 12% or 15, yes. Say, yeah, but he's a genius, you know, he's up in Galway, uh, he, he, he speaks uh, not even Irish, he, he speaks uh, the, the old Irish language, he's uh, in front of a dark fire at night, uh, and uh, so this way people believe about Callum McNamara, otherwise it seems you are a machine. <laughs> then uh, we have Bugzilla submit us. And uh, this course answer, uh, several people are here. Mike Kaganski, of course, uh, we have AL here. We have the, the team uh, of, uh, how you call it, NISH, N-I-S-Z, how you say that in Hungarian? NIS. So the, the team uh, uh, of uh, Lashlo, uh, it's uh, working a lot. They 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 submit bugs as a team, uh, but it's not just a one-person effort. And you see uh, Regina, Mike, uh, uh, Cisco. We have Aaron here. Uh, we have uh, Water Olivier, uh, Ilmari. And thank you to everyone, of course, because your contribution is uh, what makes LibreOffice the good product that we have. These are the web late contribution. And uh, I think that one of the things that we could do better is to promote the LibreOffice language advantage over any other software. So LibreOffice is the software that is localized in more language than any other software in the world. Uh, the, the closest one uh, is, uh, I think, uh, Firefox uh, with around 80 languages. We have uh, almost 60 more. We have 40 released more and uh, another 20 in the works. So talking about uh, this, uh, I think, gives us a big advantage. Actually, I've last year, I've tried, uh, uh, I wrote to the Guinness World Record and say, uh, we should, we, 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 how can we apply for the software that is available in more languages? And I discovered that we Guinness World Record is a private company and if you don't pay, you don't win any record Guinness World Record. So let's uh, maybe, I don't know, I'm, I find it too expensive, but let's say that in the future we may explore the, the possibility of uh, giving them uh, some thousand euro to 
to get the stamp uh, because that has a huge visibility. As you know, we there is uh, many, but they they told me that is too niche. Languages are a niche, uh, uh, and and is is not widespread. They said no, not just it's eight billion people speaking a language, so it's not widespread. It's it's the the thing that is more known worldwide. Everyone speaks a language. And this is the, these are the names uh, uh, with the contribution of people, web late, unit translation. So uh, again, here you have uh, Olivier. Val Walter is not here. I mean, if you want to meet Walter Mura, we have to go and make the conference in Cagliari. Otherwise, it's impossible to get it. Uh, we have uh, Rizal in Indonesia, Karl Morten is in Norway. Uh, you, you can find. Sorry? <laughs> uh, Mike can read it easily. Anyway, uh, I think Marco is here. For instance, Marco Marega is uh, somewhere, is there. But we have many excellent contributors here, and I think uh, we should uh, make their work uh, shine uh, more uh, than we do, because that is very important. And I know that there are issues in, uh, the, the, let's say, the, the, the visual representation of languages, but at least, uh, in some cases, we at least we support the language. Maybe then we can we have to improve the way the language is managed. But at least we support it. So menus are in a language. I mean, people. Yeah, no, because uh, for instance, you know, in Italy now we we have uh, we, we in schools we have. Uh, people uh, that start the primary school and their, their native language is not Italian. So, and in some cases, they come to Italy when they are older. So they go to school and they have a limited command of Italian. So we, with, with a few schools where we, we were able to talk with the, with the teachers there, and they were using LibreOffice, of course, uh, we installed LibreOffice in the students' native language. Of course, the objective was not to them to, for the students to keep using their native language forever, but to use their native language as a bridge to the Italian menus. So we, for instance, we had, there was a school where half of a class was from Romanian uh, people, and they started, and, and the learning curve uh, just flattened. Because by comparing the Romanian version with the Italian, they immediately understood some of the terms that were, uh, while, uh, you know, if you say stamp stampa in Italian is print, but if you never heard stampa and you don't associate, if you find it in your native language, then you open the Italian menu and at the same place you find stampa, you immediately understand that that word uh, is, means print. So it, this is something that, and Microsoft Office doesn't, doesn't allow you, even if they support the language, if you buy the Italian version, there's no way to have the Romanian language because you have to buy the Eastern European version that has the Romanian option. So you should buy two licenses instead of one. So while uh, LibreOffice uh, is, uh, you can add as many languages as you want on uh, top. So this is uh, the community over the last five years. Of course, the community makes sense to look it over the years because uh, it, it's, it's, uh, we all know that the community is a fluid uh, entity, yes. So we have the, 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 the red one, the, 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 the smaller bars are the core. Then we have the, uh, the other one uh, uh, is the, let's call it occasional, and then we have the random ones. Uh, of course, uh, you see a slight decrease uh, 
we should probably work to grow it again, uh, but if you think that this is on five years, uh, uh, the situation is, uh, is not bad at all. And this is a geography of our community. We are, uh, let's say, almost everywhere. Dark green is where we have members. Light green is where we have communities but not members. And white is where we, either we don't have information or we don't have anyone. Uh, I think we are doing pretty good, we can improve, and uh, I think uh, now it's time for lunch. Thank you, and uh, see you later.